Many top-ranked junior tennis players face a tough question regarding their tennis career in their late teens. Do they turn pro right away, or do they opt to play college tennis for a couple years and then decide if they want to turn pro? Here at Tennis Warehouse, we interviewed some top-ranked singles and doubles former collegiate players who are now on the WTA and ATP Tour. This is their experience. I went to the University of Southern California, Phi On, and I played there from 2011 to 2015. I played at USC for four years and I graduated in 2016. Hey guys, this is Arthur Winderknesh, a member of the Technifiber family, uh, playing on the professional circuit. Um, I've, uh, I've played my four years in Texas A&M, in, uh, in Texas, and uh, graduated from there. Played uh, some uh, great tennis and uh, really loved uh, my time uh, over there. I played at the University of Alabama and I played from 2009 to 2013. I played four years at Arizona State and graduated in 2016. So each player has their own road and for me I, I, went to, uh, I went to college to play tennis. I went to UCLA, I played for the Bruins for three years from 2011 to 2014 and it was an amazing experience. My overall experience at USC was that I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed playing for a college and someone bigger than myself. I enjoyed representing my teammates and USC as well as my coaches and USC has a huge tennis legacy and I'm just really happy that I was able to be a part of it. What I enjoyed most about college tennis was the team atmosphere and my coaches, Sheila and Matt. It was an amazing experience. Unfortunately, our team was not able to win NCAAs as a team, but we got close. College tennis obviously means a lot for me. Um, I mean, spent pretty much my uh, best uh, four years uh, in my life as of right now. Uh, it was such a, a lot of fun. Played many hours of tennis, many great matches with my uh, with my partners and, uh, and teammates. And uh, yeah, I think uh, my game really improved uh, over there. Uh, lucky I was, uh, I had uh, some uh, great coaches. And uh, now I'm just enjoying my time on the professional circuit. My overall college tennis experience was absolutely incredible. I loved every single year there. Um, we got to the Final Four twice during my years there, and uh, myself and Caitlin Christian were the 2013 NCAA doubles champions. Um, it was an incredible career, and I would love to do it all over again. My overall college experience was so great. I loved being part of a team, and I really felt, felt like it helped um, improve my tennis game so much, and also just you know, getting that experience of it being living a real college life, uh, I wouldn't take it back for anything. My favorite college experience was when we beat Stanford at home, and it was our first win against them in a very long time. Probably one of my favorite college tennis memories was my senior year and making semifinals of NCAAs in singles and in doubles. Uh, th there's a lot of great memories from college and one of them was uh, pretty much every time we played USC and every time we beat them was awesome, I'll be honest. <laughs> but my freshman year, uh, we had, um, we were playing for the Pac-12 championships at their home and they had like a 30-something match win streak and they were up 3 nothing on us, won the doubles point, won a couple of singles matches and we came back. All uh, the four matches that we won, we were all pretty much down to set in a break and we were all able to come back to win it. And, and all finished at the same time and it was an incredible experience being able to beat them at, at their home. My favorite college memory was my junior year when I clinched the match against Cal. I beat the number one ranked player at the time and that win sent our team to number one in the country. Uh, my, my favorite uh, memory in college, uh, I would say, was uh, once I, uh, I clinched the deciding match uh, for, for my team, Texas A&M, in the quarterfinal of the NCAA against uh, the Florida Gators and uh, we moved on to the semifinal. Final Four, actually, and it was the first time for, for, for our program, so it's, uh, yeah, it would be a, a really big memory in my entire life. Uh, I remember forever, for sure, and uh, I wish actually we could have uh, gone all the way, but uh, we ended up losing 4-3 in the semi-final, but uh, it was really close, and uh, yeah, I really loved, uh, really loved my time and enjoyed this, uh, this memory. My favorite college tennis memory was definitely winning NCAAs with my best friend. Um, it was an incredible experience with friends and family supporting us from every single match and um, I'm so happy that we could have gotten a title for the University of Southern California. The transition to the pros from college was pretty tough. Um, in college you always travel with your teammates, coaches and everything's taken care of. On the pro tour, it's very lonely and you have to take care of everything yourself and be your own agent. Um, but luckily, I had a lot of friends that I made on tour and a lot of girls from college uh, 
went on to the Pro Tour as well. So we kind of just stuck together as a team and they made it the transition more enjoyable. The transition from college tennis to the Pro Tour was definitely a big one. It took me a couple of years to really uh, get my bearings on the Pro Tour, um, but it definitely prepared me for, for how I'm playing right now and, and my experiences. So the transition from college to the pros is tough. I mean, I think college is, is amazing for development, but it doesn't quite, you don't travel like you do on the tour. And so for me, really learning how to travel took a while. Um, yeah, you, you, you move away from home and you, you're, you're playing against other guys that are awesome, but to, to actually live your life 30 weeks on the road is tough. And, and going to different tournaments where you're traveling around the world, kind of learning how you handle eating different foods, different conditions, playing on hard court, clay court, grass court all around the world and so uh, for me that was one of the hardest thing not let alone playing guys that are incredible playing trying trying to make it and play, uh, and beat some of the best players in the world but it, but it really took a long time to learn how to get used to living life on the road my transition from college to the pros was easier than i expected i was lucky enough to have a good group of girls to travel with the transition from my college career to the pro career was um, a little tough. Um, you know, I started out on my own a lot of the times, especially coming from college where you're surrounded by teammates. So starting off on the singles tour was definitely tough. Um, being there alone um, and without coaches was definitely tough. But um, I've definitely found my groove a bit more uh, playing on the double circuit now. Yeah, my transition was uh, was not really easy. Uh, starting playing uh, for yourself. Uh, sometimes in some uh, tough conditions, not anymore with the team, uh, with a, a bunch of uh, brothers with you. Uh, but uh, you just gotta keep your, your head down and, uh, and wor work it out. Uh, I was lucky after, after a year pretty much, I was, uh, I was playing on the Challenger Tour and after uh, another year I started playing on the ATP Tour. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I, I feel lucky but I also worked really hard for, for, for that. So. Uh, and now I'm actually lucky to be a part of the Davis Cup team for France and uh, now I can feel this emotion that I got with, uh, with Texas A&M when, uh, when I was there. And so I'm just really proud and happy to, to have another team now with me and uh, having all these emotions back, uh, back in my head. During my college years, I definitely fine-tuned my mental toughness. Um, playing for something bigger than yourself is an incredible experience and I've definitely transferred that over into the Pro Tour. My college coach, Richard Gallin, used to tell me, first a smile, then the good tennis, and I've definitely done that ever since. Um, th I mean, there's a lot that I learned from college and one of them is honestly like having a great team around you. Like for me, college, like part of what made it so fun was the guys that I was with and and playing with them, for them, and, and having a great team around me was awesome. And so it, it kind of showed me how important it is to like now in life on tour, I'm traveling a lot and I have to almost build my own team, but how important it is to be able to have people around me that I, that I really trust and I get along with well. One thing that I learned in college that I took with me to my professional career is one thing my coach Richard Gallian would always tell me. He'd always say, first the smile and then the good tennis. And that's when I learned that when I'm smiling, I'm happy is when I play at my best. So I always do my best to keep myself in a good mood and I know that'll bring out my best tennis. Uh, some of the skills that I learned in college that have helped me get to where I am today is definitely the double skills I learned. Um, I learned so much about doubles and, and strategy and uh, yeah, I, I loved it so much. It, it, I'm so happy to have had that experience. Thanks so much for watching. To get the gear seen in this video, head to tenniswarehouse.com. Thank you.